For a lot of these dogs, here at the shelter is where they'll take their first steps outside of a cage. Can I get an adoption counselor to the lobby, please? Adoption counselor to the lobby. A lot of people cannot take them and a lot of the rescues cannot take them in. For the second time in the shelter's history, the Arizona Animal Welfare League took in 26 puppy mill dogs on October 8th. The dogs were originally rescued by the National Mill Dog Rescue in Oklahoma. The dogs that are coming in are going to require massive dental. Um, a lot of them don't have any teeth or are going to have to have all their teeth just uh, taken out. Um, the emotional side of it as well. Many of these dogs have never seen the outside of a kennel or never touched the ground. Um, there's a lot of emotional, behavioral issues that these dogs are going to have to go through. But puppy mill dogs are not all that the Arizona Animal Welfare League has to offer. The shelter currently houses roughly 200 dogs and over 150 cats. Sonia Breslow um, founded this shelter here um, in the uh, Spay and Neuter Clinic as well. Um, it was actually a surprise from her husband uh, one year, years ago. And since then, this has now become the Sonia Breslow Adoption Center and it has grown in many ways over the past few years. Um, it started out as simply a shelter, and since then we've added a fantastic volunteer program, education, training, our veterinary clinic that does operate like a regular veterinary office. So we've really expanded in many different ways. For this year alone, the Arizona Animal Welfare League has found forever matches for over 3,000 animals. Can't beat the feeling of, you know, seeing someone's face when they've just adopted their new best friend. It's, it's quite warming. Some of these dogs need a lot of help, in addition to the necessary shots to be cleared for adoption. And they'll get that here. For Newswatch, I'm Shannon Chair reporting.